this video, we are going to learn about the ratio of areas of similar shapes. Let's start with something simple. Here we have square A and let us bring in a similar shape, square B. Suppose that square A has a length of 10cm and square B has a length of 15cm, what are the areas? Square A will have an area of 100cm square and square B will have an area of 225cm square. Now, taking the ratio of the length of A is to the length of B, this gives us 10 is to 15. Simplify this, we have 2 is to 3. How about the ratio of the areas? The ratio of area A is to area B would be 100 is to 225. Now, let's simplify this by dividing by 25 on both sides. This gives us 4 is to 9. We can re-express 4 is to 9 as perfect squares. 2 square is to 3 square. It, from here, you will notice there is an interesting pattern. Is this coincidental or is there a correlation? Let's try with another shape, say a rectangle of sides 9 and 6, hence giving us an area of 54, and a similar rectangle of sides 12 and 8, giving us an area of 96. Now the ratio of the lengths, be it any of the two dimensions, let's say 6 to 8, and simplify this, we have 3 to 4. Now the ratio of the areas, 54 is to 96. Simplify, 9 to 16, expressed as perfect squares, 3 square is to 4 square. Wow, is this another coincidence? Not convinced? Let's try with triangles. Of base 4, height 2, giving us a area of 4, bringing a similar triangle, base 8, height 4, with the area of 16. The ratio of the lengths would be 1 to 2. And the ratio of the areas, 4 to 16, simplify this is 1 is to 4, expressing them as perfect squares, 1 square is to 2 square. Still not convinced, let's try circles. Let's say we have a circle of radius 7 cm and a similar circle of radius 9 cm. The ratio of their radii will be 7 is to 9. The ratio of the areas will be 49 pi is to 81 pi. Simplify this, we have 49 is to 81 and we can once again express this as perfect squares, 7 square is to 9 square. So yes, there is a correlation between the ratio of length and the ratio of the areas. We take the ratio of the length and square it. So to summarize this correlation, suppose we are given two similar figures with the corresponding lengths A and B, then the ratio of the lengths is A is to B, and the ratio of the areas is A square is to B square. Let's take a look at another pair of triangles, triangle P and Q, with respective base lengths A and B. Now, the question is to find the area of triangle P over the area of triangle Q. Now, first question, are they similar? No, they're not. However, we do know that they do have a common height. And with that, we can fall back on the formula of the area of triangles. So the area of triangle P is half times A times H, and the area of triangle Q is half times B times H. Now, we can simplify this fraction further by cancelling the common factors on above and below, and this reduces to A over B. So what do we learn from here? We learn that when two figures share a common height, the ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of the lengths of the bases. Let us take a look at this example. In the diagram, ABC and AED are straight lines, BE is parallel to CD, and AB is to BC is 1 is to 2. Now, we need to find the following. Firstly, find the area of triangle ABE over the area of triangle ACD. Next, we have to find the area of triangle ABE over the area of BCDE, which is a trapezium. Next, we need to find the area of triangle ABE over the area of triangle BDE. Lastly, it is the area of triangle ABE versus the area of triangle BCD. Now, in this example, if you have any difficulties understanding, please do not hesitate to pause this video whenever you need to. Let's take a look at part A. Firstly, we'll need to prove that triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD first. So, how do we do so? Firstly, you realize that angle BAE is the same as angle CAD because they are common. Next, because BE is parallel to CD, we have two pairs of corresponding angles. Firstly, angle ABE is equal to angle ACD, and also angle BEA is the same as angle CDA. Now, therefore, by the AAA similarity test, we have it that 
triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD. Now that we have proven that triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD, we can now find the ratio of the areas. Now since it is given that AB over BC is 1 over 2, we can then proceed to find AB over AC, where AC it is the sum of AB and BC, and hence the ratio is 1 is to 3. So therefore, the area of triangle ABE over the area of triangle ACD, it is the square of AB over AC, which then gives us 1 over 9. Now caution, AB is to BC equals to 1 is to 2. Now this does not mean that AB is 1 cm and BC is 2 cm. We can also have it that AB is 10 cm and BC is 20 cm. What is given here is actually just the ratio, not the actual length. Now that we have found the area of triangle ABE over the area of triangle ACD from part A, we can now use this to find the area of triangle ABE over the area of BCDE. Now you will notice that BCDE is a subtraction of the small triangle ABE from the big triangle ACD. So therefore we have it that the fraction will be 1 over 9 minus 1. So therefore the area of triangle ABE over the area of BCDE is 1 over 8. To find the answer in part C, firstly you need to note that triangle ABE is not similar to triangle BDE. However, the good thing is that they do have a common baseline and hence they do have a common height too. Next, because we have already proven that triangle ABE is similar to triangle ACD, we can then have it that AE over ED is the same as AB over BC, which is the same as half. Now, let H be the common height of triangle ABE and BDE. And with that, <clears throat> we can now find the area of triangle ABE over the area of triangle BDE, given in the formula as shown. <clears throat> with this, we can now simplify the formula, which now gives us AE over ED, which is the same as half. And then we have gotten the answer for part C. Lastly, we need to find the area of triangle ABE over the area of triangle BCD. Now, from part B, we have it that triangle ABE over BCDE is 1 is to 8. And from part C, triangle ABE is to triangle BDE is 1 to 2. Let us combine this ratio together. We will have it that A triangle ABE is to triangle BDE is to BCDE is 1 is to 2 is to 8. And then you will realize that triangle BCD is a subtraction of triangle BDE from the trapezium. So therefore, we have it that triangle ABE is to triangle BCD is 1 is to 8 minus 2, which is the same as 1 is to 6. And therefore, the area of triangle ABE over the area of triangle BCD is 1 over 6. So to summarize, when we have two similar shapes with corresponding length A and B, then the ratio of the lengths is a is to b, and the ratio of the areas is a square is to b square. If we have two non-similar shapes, then the tip is to find the common height. So in this case, triangle P and triangle Q have a common height of h, with their corresponding base lengths as a and b, then the area of triangle P over triangle Q would be a over b. And hence, this marks the end of our video lesson.